Hey guys, you know one of the most unsettling feelings that I've ever had as a young man when I was lost in the woods one time and it was getting dark. I had no clue where I was at. No matter where I went looking for a landmark, when I got there I realized there was nothing there to give me any direction. And I realized I was alone and I was lost. But then as that panic sunk in and I started feeling anxiety, I turned my focus toward God and realized no matter where I'm at, whether I'm in a grocery store, a restaurant, church, or in the woods, it doesn't matter. God is with me. God will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. You know, there's a lot of Christians today that are feeling down. you got anxiety. You're stressed because your life is not headed in the direction that you thought it was. Them landmarks that you're looking for are not there. You feel lost in life. You don't understand why or where you went wrong. But I want you to know something. No matter where you're at, God loves you and God is with you. And when you get them feelings of anxiety and panic that come upon you, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of sound mind. And I want to read something to you in Psalms, the 34th chapter, verse 17. It says, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. We're going to face adversity. We're going to face trials. Things are going to happen. You're going to feel lost at some time. Sometimes you're going to be alone. But you know what? No matter where you're at, you are truly never alone. You cannot hide from God. You cannot run from God. Not, you cannot do enough that God is not going to ever be with you. God loves you. He has an everlasting love for you. And in this life, no matter what you face, God is the one person that will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And I thank Him for that. And you may be saying, David, that's, that's great, but I'm not a Christian. And I don't have that promise. You can have that promise today. And then you may say, well, I've done so many things. I'm such a... Uh, I've been an addict. I'm a. You may be an alcoholic. You may be um, have hurt many people around you. You may have robbed or stolen from people because of your addictions. Whatever the case may be, and you feel lost. You feel all alone, and you feel like nobody wants anything to do with you. I want you to know something. Jesus said He came to seek and to save them that are lost. There was a man in Mark chapter five who was a demoniac. He was full of demons. He was such a bad and fierce man, and done so many people. Uh, terrorized so many people nobody had anything to do with this man he lived in the tombs by himself he was a people were afraid of him jesus came all the way across the sea to find this man and deliver him and when he saw jesus he ran to him and jesus delivered him and that torment and that stress and anxiety and depression and loneliness and hopelessness was replaced with joy unspeakable that only God can give a joy and a peace that God will give you today if you'll repent of your sins believe on Christ and that finished work he done on the cross by shedding his blood for you and me dying and rising again the third day so you could have victory not only over death hell, and the grave but victory over your circumstances in your life I don't care what the situation may be I don't care how alone you may feel I don't care how lost you feel like you are in this life I promise you one thing if you'll put your faith in Christ and trust him he will bring you through it. Until next time, let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in His sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen.